You need to ditch your IDE right now. Here's why. The other day, my coworker came to me and he found a method when one of our shared libraries that was marked with the obsolete attribute. And he was asking me if, if, we, if we need this message, if we use it anywhere or if we could delete it. And I was asking him, well, do we use it anywhere? And in that moment, I could observe, you know, his face getting white and pale and, and sweaty. And I could see real time CPU throttling in his brain because, well, the, the library we we're talking about and the other libraries that use it are actually in different solutions. So we published that library as a NuGet package. He couldn't just go into his cozy little IDE and, and click at find references and just find where it's used. It wouldn't work. And therefore, he's getting now a little bit nervous and it's not not able to answer the question properly, right? So how do we help this poor animal right now? So someone needs to help the man. So I ask him, you were talking about the utils, right? And he said, yeah, the utils, I open Neovim here. I look for anything that is obsolete. Now I ask him, okay, it's about the, the, the SharePoint, the, the SharePoint client, right? And then I ask him about the method name and it was the file upload absolute. Never mind, I have it already. I'll copy the method name, open a new Tmux window with the mother directory where we have all our projects in. And now here I open the open again and look through all of them for this particular method name. And then I see, okay, there's only one hit. And the only one hit is inside the shared library that we were talking about. So it, it's, it's not used anywhere else. So you can happily delete it. Now, is that too hard to do with your IDE? Probably not. Hopefully not. The, the point is that's not even the question right here. The point is, why is he not thinking of, of simple text search when find reference fails? Well, because he's so tied to the tight core set of his IDE that he was living in for way too long that he's only able to think in plugins and buttons. And once he's running out of buttons, he has no idea what to do anymore. And this is the actual damage. He's scribbling himself down to a skill using his IDE only that doesn't transfer versus a real skill like Vim level mastery of text where you learn Vim one time and then you can can just apply it to anything. You can edit any kind of text in any kind of file. It doesn't really matter. As long as you know Vim, you're good. It's it's kind of the same in the gym. So when you look at the, the leg extension versus the squat, like I don't know about you, but no one asks me ever in my life how much I do on a leg extension machine. I get asked how much I bench, how much I deadlift, how much I squat. Because when you get good at the leg extensions, that's cool, right? But you're only getting good at leg extension. It has no effect on the rest of your life. Versus the squat. When you get good at the squat, you're, you're not only be able to squat more. You're also going to be able to run faster, to jump higher, to have more stamina. The squat is a skill that transfers to other areas of your life versus the leg extension, which, which doesn't transfer to anything. And it's the same with your IDE and Vim. Your IDE is a leg extension, very limited, and Vim's a squat. So what you're going to do now from here is it's easy. You you start Vim, you start with the Vim motions and get comfortable with that. And then what you're going to do is you get NeoVim and you get it up and running with whatever ecosystem you, you're dealing with. So if you're a C-sharp developer, I have a full playlist for getting C-sharp running in NeoVim. And once you have that, you master the CLI tools necessary to replace your IDE entirely. And again, I also have a playlist for that. Just check it out. And for anything further, stay tuned for what's coming. Have a lovely week. All the best to you. See you in the next one. Bye-bye.